All right guys, how to do the most important serve in table tennis, the backspin serve. It's crucial that you know how to do it. Let's get straight into the video. Step one of the backspin serve is of course the grip. You wanna make sure you have a pinch grip so you can really flick your wrist at the beginning of the serve and get as much spin as possible. Putting your thumb on the top of the bat and the rest of your fingers behind, like so, really enables the snap of the wrist to get the most backspin on the ball and that is crucial for of course the backspin serve. Common mistake that a lot of beginner players do is hold the bat like they would for a normal forehand or backhand shot when doing the backspin serve. Holding it like this, like a normal shot, kind of prevents your wrist from putting as much spin as possible and it limits the amount of backspin you can put on the ball. Step two for the backspin serve is the point of contact at which you hit the ball. You really want to make sure that you hit it low to the table, which ultimately means the bounce is lower over the net and it's much harder for your opponent to hit it back. So you want to throw it up, let the ball drop, hit the ball low to the table, and it'll be a much lower serve, as you can see there. And it's going to be a lot harder for your opponent. They're probably going to push it, which helps you out. Or if they don't push it, the shot that they put back will probably be still to your advantage. All right, so you've got the grip right, you've got the throw right, and when you need to hit it, now it's about the point of contact. So this brings us to step three, what you need to do when the ball actually hits the bat. For the backspin serve, it's crucial that the point of contact is a very light, rushing motion. This will ultimately put the most backspin on the ball. So you want to make contact with the ball around the middle of the bat or anywhere as close as that. You don't want it to be at the front or the back of the bat because then you won't get as much spin as possible. You want to brush the ball in a quick and swift motion without full on hitting it. So there's a difference between going like this and like this, just slightly brushing the ball. So the forward motion isn't actually that much. You're not pushing upwards, you're just pushing across. A great way to practice this is to do exactly what I'm doing right now and just hitting the ball to yourself and seeing how much spin you can get just by slightly brushing the ball without hitting it too hard. So you now know the correct grip for the backspin serve, when to hit the ball and the correct point of contact. That brings us to step four, which is the placement of your backspin serve. Placement is crucial for the backspin serve because you ultimately want your opponent to push it back so you can control the rally. You want to aim just behind the middle, closer to the net. So think about the middle of the table, then aim for the closer third, so around 30 to 40 centimeters from the net. Anywhere in this space is the perfect place to target for the backspin serve. This will lead to your opponent pushing it back, which will then ultimately lead you to be able to attack and control the rally. It's also really important that you change up your placement of your serves. So sometimes go down the line, sometimes go across the table. You know, if you go down the line, it's probably gonna be more likely that they go diagonally, so you can expect to do a forehand or a backhand if you're right-handed. Especially if you're down in the game, you want to change it up. You don't want to keep doing the same things. The ideal placement I go for for the backspin serve is short down the line. because They're likely going to push it diagonally and I can expect to do a forehand loop and straight away control the rally. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching. If you want to learn another really good tutorial to improve your table tennis game, then click on the video right here. If not, subscribe for more and I'd really appreciate if you liked the video. See you guys next time.